M0FXP, welcome to my channel. SDR Play, RSPDX. I normally use the RTL SDR. These are only about £30. They work great and they work on most bands, VHF, UHF, HF, Airband, all that kind of stuff. And I, I highly recommend them. But this one is a few hundred pounds. This is an over £200 device and it's a, a much solid, heavier device. There's a lot more to it. It doesn't mean this one isn't good, but... This is like your super SDR and there is, or should I say there, that SDR Play provide excellent videos and support and information to get this working. So this video is just to unbox it. I'll just read what it says about the RSPDX. Now you can get the RSP1A, which is the smaller version of this and the RSP, RSP Duo, which is the dual band, about the same size as this, but the dual band version of this, they all cover the same bands. So it says here, housed in a strong steel case, in addition to the functionality of the RSPA1, the RSP DX provides three software selectable antenna inputs and an external clock input. It offers substantially enhanced HF performance using SDR Uno's HDR mode and that SDR Uno software is amazing. Optimized for the demanding radio reception conditions below two megahertz and additional 500 kilohertz low pass filter is also included for LF and VLF enthusiasts. So let's just, in this video, we're just gonna unbox it. Now they've got a step-by-step -step video for downloading the software and installing this, but it's pretty much, as far as I can see, once you've downloaded the software, it's pretty much plug and go as far as I can see. So I always keep my boxes. Really heavy, sturdy device. Got some paper on there. And there's your input there. And you've got a RF, RF in there. So I'm guessing that could be coming from, you know, sometimes people get their transceivers and they tap into, is it the IF? And that probably that's where that would go. Let's have a look here. Antenna A and B. So yeah, I saw in the software, you can select A and B. And antenna C, which is a BNC. And as far as I can see, watching other videos that is up to 200 megahertz but don't take my word for that let's actually test it so i am actually super super impressed with the quality of this of this device so we're going to watch the video we'll get this thing connected to our pc i'm running windows 11 and let's see how we get on with that and this is what the video looks like these are the steps we're going to follow downloading the software what hardware do I need? Installing the software. What antenna do I need? I'll be using my HF antenna and VHF collinear on the roof. What settings do I need using the software? Downloading the additional software. And the last one says it's not working tutorial on help. And they do provide full backup for their products. When it's up and running, we're going to have this amazing software. Thanks for watching my unboxing. Okay, we've unboxed the item and now we've gone to SDR Play and we've clicked here where it says software download. We've got this nice green big button that says start. We're gonna click that, scroll down, read all the information and then click start. Once we get here, we can register. Once we've registered, then you'll, it will ask you for your serial number and then prompt you to go to the download page. If you want to use Windows and Linux or Mac, you press the top one here. I've got Windows only, so I'm just gonna click Windows like so. Scroll down and download the latest version. We'll just scroll down now. Go to the top one. You can download items separately, but download SDR Uno. This is gonna give us everything, including the plugins. We're gonna keep this. Now I have already downloaded this. So it's possible it will tell us that in a sec. But anyway, you can see the way it works. We're just going to follow the next, next, next items once we get to that. Let's follow in next. I'll, I'll tick all these boxes here. Next, next, next. Let it install. Accept the terms, next. Please make sure all RSP are disconnected from the machine before continuing with the driver. So yeah, hopefully that will just 
add everything we need all the drivers etc yeah I can see it all up there drivers etc so it's doing everything for you which is nice process initializing so bear with me I'm just going along with the program if you have a RSP connect it and allow driver to install okay done finish I'm just accepting everything <laughs> Have you understood the download instructions to enable DAB playback? I'm just going to say yes. Finish. Next, next, next. If you need to update the plugin folder in SDR Uno to point to the location during this installation, right click in the background of the plug control panel and select the folder used in the installation. Remember the version of the plugins contained. Okay. Finish. Right, it wants me to restart now. Okay, let's fire it up. We have this small little logo here. This is what it looks like. The antenna is connected to the A port. I've got my VHF, UHF to the antenna C. So let's just push play here. Top left, there's a little green play. And we have life. Volume is here. Frequency, we're going to select. We go down here, this long column here. At the bottom, it says bands. We can slide that up and down. We're going to hit bands. Slide down. Hit 40 meters. Let's have a click through. Oh, that's a bit too high. I can't see the RF gain at the moment. Uh, let's have a look what we got here. Audio routing, audio device, AM. Up here, let's click some of this. Oh, this is clicking through different scopes. Large and small, so it removes the sidebar. Dots, edit server list, about SDR. Auxiliary. Start playing around with the different spectrum settings there. Averaging, don't they always ask about averaging on the seven on the seven one oh recording primarily primary file source? So yeah, lots to learn about this. Not sure how to select the seventy centimeter portion. Fifteen SSB two thousand two hundred. What about if I just I'll stick to the band selection for now. Look, I think that's enough for just getting this thing started. And then I want to, I'll play with it for a while. What's this thing here? Zoom in, you can zoom in. Settings cog. RF gain. Oh, that's high, isn't it? Just at the top here. Sample rate antenna selection. That's the one I wanted. If I go to C, will it then let me select 145 megs? So that shouldn't that be naught? Will it automatically? Actually, let's do 70 sevens and then we'll fire up my node. Which is cut, looks like that's it there. We need to select FM now. So it's definitely picking it up. 
So it's automatically picking up that antenna. Antenna A. Shouldn't that be antenna C? Let's check. It's picking it up via the HF antenna, isn't it? Because we're only on antenna A or, A or B, which is going to pick it up because that node's very strong. So we don't know how to select AM, FM yet. Oh, you can add these windows, look. It's too many. Hertz. I'm not sure I to zero them off. Can I just go zero? Okay, so someone show me. Ah, mode. Blind. Typical, they stop speaking now. Squelch. Okay, so press play. Not the clearest. I think it's because we're receiving the SSB stuff. So lots to learn. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 7-3.